1988. I believe it had started before that. Audrey, in her last, I, I, I took the remedial course through medical school and took five years. I worked with Don Stansky in my last year of medical school. That would be 1983. And Audrey worked with Dr. White during the same year in 1983. We continued that work by correspondence, both of us. Audrey was working with Dr. White and I was working with Dr. Stansky uh, during internship and residency. And then when we returned in 1986, Audrey continued her work with Dr. White and I continued my work with Dr. Stansky. And what was the name of the paper in 1988 that was published as a result of this work? Uh, as a result of Audrey's work? And, and your work. I mean, let's, let's, let's be fair. Audrey's paper was Pharmacokinetics and Pharmacodynamics of Propofol Infusions During General Anesthesia. And you were involved in the computer dynamics, I guess the computer simulations? And both, both the computer programming for that, um, making a program called Make Model work correctly, and I also, like I said, the mathematics for the three compartment model with variable rate infusions, which is what Dr. White had used, was not something that the computer program could handle, so I did the software for that. All right. And that's in 1988? Correct. Which is early days of computing. Early days of computing? That would be the 1950s. Right. Well, I mean, you, you actually had an old Osborne computer. Is that right? <laughs> I did have an old Osborne computer. Great machine. A little bitty screen about this big? Itty bitty screen. And I'm, uh, for record, I'm about six inches. Okay. Is this really relevant to the discussion? You did. Go ahead, please. You, you, it was very, your work was very important because of the computer analysis. Would you agree? Yes. All right. In that paper, the data was compiled for what purpose? What was the data compiled for? What was going on with that particular paper? What was the purpose of the, of the project? I'll have to make an assumption of Dr. White's purpose. I'm happy to do that if you'd like me to. Do you not know the purpose of that paper? You're asking, Dr. White was the principal investigator. I'm happy to say why I think he did it. Well, you, you read the, you read the, the propofol sleep study, didn't you? Did you read that study? The Which propofol study? sleep study? What's the propofol, the, the, one, the one out of China that we yes. talked about yesterday? Yes, did you read that? that? And you know what, what the purpose of that paper was, right? I, I don't really understand your question. The, do, you, you know what, you, do, you, do you understand what this 1988 study was about? I believe Dr. White's purpose in the study was to demonstrate the utility of continuous infusion because Dr. White was a strong advocate of that. And I believe he was intending also to help provide these mathematical models, these models of kinetics and dynamics. But Dr. White didn't have the computing or mathematical background to do that, and that for that he turned to, to Audrey uh, with my assistance. But I believe that was his purpose, was to create the mathematical models. But that is my inference from, from the nature of the paper. In 1988, was infusion, continuous infusion of propofol not being used? Uh, Dr. White would be better qualified to answer that than I would, but I, I believe that it was not common. I believe in 1988, propofol was primarily being used for just induction of anesthesia and not for maintenance. And this was the first paper that proposed that possibility. I do know that. The FDA, do you have the AstraZeneca FDA insert, guys? Uh, I'll dig for it. Can you show me which one? I, I have a copy. Oh, okay. May I? May I answer yes, first? Yes. I lied. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have a copy. I misspoke. Um, it's on my computer, but I thought I was going to Copy, doctor, but it's it's really small type. Is that okay. normal? Is that pretty yes, normal? Yes, that's fine. Okay. We had ZZ. Zulu, Zulu, ZZ. I'm gonna. This is. This is hard to see, but I'm gonna put it up on the monitor. To just to see if you can identify it. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna scan though. Oh, I have things to do with 
you ought to turn down the lights on this one. This is a large text. This is a large text version. Mark as an exhibit. Well, all right. Do what you want. That's, but, that's fine. But displaying on the overhead really won't accomplish yeah, no, much. I see. Well, let me let me do this. Mr. Zill's handing it to Mr. That Chernoff. It? That's exhibit number what? 212. 212? 212. Thank you. Let me show you an exhibit, two, uh, People's Exhibit 212. Is that, is that the graph that you provided to this center? Or I got the wrong graph. No, it's fine. I actually brought with me three versions of the graph from my own computer from 1992, and I'm happy to give them to you if you like. Here's the initial version. No, no. They, they, I think the question was what's being displayed. What that, that's the graph I spoke of, and, I, and I, have, I have earlier versions with me if you'd like to see them. No, that's, that's just pretty good. Yeah, that's so, fine. so this is the graph that you provided for this answer. That's right? for for this astro. That's correct. Answer. That's correct. And and throughout this paper, there's all kinds of, of other things that you provided for this FDA answer, right? That's correct. Um, could you would you help, help point me to those areas, please? I'll be happy to. But sure. I will also tell you that I have a manuscript that was not published that was created in 1992 that I'm happy to give you called The Pharmacokinetics and Dynamics of Propofol Versus Age, Application of the Model to Max Sedation. And this, was, this is the manuscript that was written on my laptop here that, that takes you through it, and I'm happy to give you a copy if you like. Okay, thank you very much. Um, but but I'll, what I'll do is I'll show you people's... Yes. 212. Okay, I mean, just if you could just show me and I'll put it up on the overhead. Sure. All right. What would you like me to do? Mark the numbers here? Circle things that are. Yes, which, All right, so clearly that. Well, you tell me if there's an objection to it. That's right. fine. I just wanted to be clear for the record right. what's happening. That's people's 212. That's right. Can we stop off with what was it? Was it Received in evidence, but council agree that Dr. Schaefer can mark Mr. Walg. Right, council. I'm doing it before I realize what document he's writing on, but that's fine. Mr. Chernoff, okay? Yes, Judge. Thank you. There you go. And you let me know, Mr. Chernoff, when it's convenient to take the mid-afternoon break. You can finish the line of questioning, you know, sir. <clears throat> So you've circled this graph. This is your graph. That's right? correct. And it's withstood the test of time. That's right? correct. All right. And then you underline some things here for MAC sedation, initiation. These are your numbers, right? That is correct. These numbers came from your manuscript that was on the graph, right? No. Well, where did the numbers come from? Those numbers come from an analysis which is described in this manuscript. This revision is dated October 12, 1992. And this analysis goes through those numbers. The graph that I circled is actually related to intensive care sedation. This right here is max sedation. They're different. They're separated by about four years in time. So this was, this was work that was done around 1992. The other graph that you noted, I, I can actually give you the date. I, okay right but it, it's, it's, it was four years later. I also, if you're, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. So let's, let's go further in this insert.
Is there anything else in here? Actually, if you go back, you'll find a section that has a black box around it. And if you'll bring that over here, I'm happy to mark that as well. I believe that that, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a summary. Can we do this? Could, can we take the mid-afternoon yes, break? Yes. That way Dr. Schaefer can mark it and we'll be ready. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you apparently do need a break, so uh, we're going to give you that mid-afternoon break. Of course, remember all the admonishments. It'll be about prop uh, 15 minutes or so, give or take. Thank you. Council as before, the people by their council as before, Dr. Schaefer is present on the stand as uh, before, and all jurors and alternates are present. Could everybody, good afternoon to the jurors. Good afternoon again. Thanks. Dr. Schaefer, good afternoon again, sir. Good afternoon, You Your acknowledge Honor. you are still under oath and still sworn to tell the truth. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. This is a resumption of cross-examination by the defense. Mr. Chernoff, thank you. Dr. Schaefer, uh, good afternoon again. Good afternoon, Mr. Chernoff. We're back to, to People's 212, and you were, you were kind enough to, to show us what else you had contributed to this insert, right? Correct. And this is also what else you contributed. This is data from your manuscript as well? Uh, yes, this is all covered uh, in the manuscript uh, which I hold here. This is the revision dated October 21st, 1992. That's also described in a letter that I sent to Dr. White in 1992. Let me show you this graph that's on, by the way, this is a 26-page document, mm -hmm. pretty lengthy insert. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is the computer modeling that you did based on data that was provided, right? Correct, and I have earlier examples here. You had testified that, you, that this data was provided by AstraZeneca? No, this data actually comes from the study by Julie Barr that was done at, uh, by Dr. Juliana Barr, it was done at Stanford University. That's where the model came from that was used to create this graph. That, that is uh, in evidence. Juliana Barr also does modeling, doesn't she? Yes, doc, Dr. Barr uh, did a fellowship with me. Are you saying that the data that was, is represented by this graph was compiled by Juliana Barr? Yes, it was collected at the Palo Alto Administration's Medical Center. And do you know who um, uh, did the experiments, I take that back, did the studies that resulted in that data? I was the principal investigator. And, and was any of Dr. White's data used? For Not for this graph. I see. You, um, this is 1991 when you did this insert, right? 